Okay, Rich, what are we playing this week then? Right, so this week we're going to attempt to complete Gremlins 2 for the NES. So this is an action game released in 1990. It's sort of difficult to explain. It's kind of like a run and gun game with a lot of platforming elements. So it's sort of like a hybrid of the two. The game was made by Sunsoft, who in my opinion were one of the most underrated developers of the time. They were always sort of in the shadow of the Konamis and the Capcoms. They made a whole load of great games, though. The Batman games across multiple different formats, they were all quite good. They made uh, Blaster Master and they made Journey to Silius as well. So they made a lot of fantastic games. Have you got any experience with the game at all? I've played it a little bit, but I haven't seen the movies. So Yeah. yeah. So do you want to get to it then? Yeah, let's go. Right. A lot of really good cutscenes in this. Mm. Yeah, they put a lot of work into it, into the presentation really, haven't they? So like I said, the game is basically like a run and gun game with platforming. So you've got multi-directional multi firing, but you've also got sort of sections to jump over as well. The enemies all drop these crystal balls, which basically that's like the currency of the game. So there's shops in the game where you can sort of, um, you sort of buy health and upgrades for the weapons. And lives. Yeah, and lives as well. This door here is where you go to the shops. So if you find one of these doors, you, you can sort of buy, buy stuff. Uh, start with an extra life, I think. Yeah. Maybe we should get two. What on the next bit as well? Mm. So you've never actually seen any of the Gremlins movies, there? Nah. No. I used to. Um, I had the first one when I was a kid. Actually, it was one of my favourite films. I used mm. to watch it quite a bit on, like you know, a dodgy recorded off of the TV tape, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Mine was the BFG with David Jason. That's the dodgy recording that I used to watch <laughs> yeah. over and over. It's like um, Dumbo as well on dodgy tape. All of the James Bond movies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Gremlins was one of my favourites. As you can see with Chris here, a lot of the time in this game, it's best to sort of keep your distance from the enemies. So a lot of the time, it might be an idea to jump forwards wait for them to spawn then sort of retreat to a, a platform a bit further away and just shoot them from afar it's generally what you want to be doing really there it is you're up when mogwais get wet they multiply that's a mogwai that's a gremlin no that's a mogwai those are all mogwais <laughs> if they eat after midnight they turn into gremlins oh okay <laughs> I'm not sure if he's joking or not at the moment. <laughs> How can you not know anything about Gremlins at all? Power up, definitely. Have to get a heart at some point too. Yeah, so in the shops, apart from getting extra lives and health, you also get power ups as well. So obviously this one now allows us to fire in three different directions. As the game progresses, you improve your weapon as well. As you saw, we've got like a, we've got like a, is it a matchstick, a matchstick. or something? Yeah, yeah. So we've got a matchstick weapon now. Plus we've got the upgrade from the shop that makes it fire in three different directions. Oh bollocks! I forgot about that guy. Oh, he's gonna shoot me a lot, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. I need to be here, don't I? Yeah. That's it. I think I've got one life. Let's be more careful. No. Ooh. Yeah, no. Yeah. I think there might be a bunch of enemies on the other side of this. Uh, avoid! 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 <laughs> avoid! Oh. Avoid! Shop! Shop. <laughs> no! <laughs> what do I buy? Hearts? Yeah, it's full health. You nearly said no there. Hold on. Yes. Not that that actually makes sense oh, no. in English. <laughs> Welcome Gizmo, what item would you like? Yes. <sighs> what a ledge. <laughs> what a fluke. <laughs> you don't hit him at all. He looks evil. Yeah. It's like the stuff of nightmares. You wonder who Gremlins is actually aimed at, you know? Because in some ways it's sort of like a Christmas movie. In some ways it's sort of like cute, cute kids sort of heroes, isn't it, Gizmo? In other ways it's like a horror movie. As a kid, 
I used to watch this film quite a bit. It did kind of scare me a little bit, you know. You would sort of think. Gremlin hiding under the bed or something. Of course, I did actually watch Critters when I was a kid as well, so really that was more nightmare fuel than Gremlins. <laughs> sort of took over. I mean, a, the Gremlin would jump on your head and scratch you a few times, you know, whereas the Critter would just sort of eat you sort of burrow into your body and eat you so it was always a bit more frightening than the gremlin nah jurassic park was always the one that got me <laughs> well, the first one when was, i was a kid that was pretty scary it scared the shit out of me especially when you see the, the samuel l jackson's arm just flop down onto <laughs> girl's shoulder like, oh this bloody level Talking of flukes. That was the skill that was. Thou bollocks! <laughs> that one zooms forward, doesn't it? Yeah. No, oh, good rate. <sighs> Christ. Jeez, I'm dead, aren't I? I just need to get away from him. I fire a bit. Oh, that one. <laughs> I can spy for a nice distance, distance. That's what we need to do is create a bit of distance in between each other. Uh. Never hit me. <laughs> See that? I went far. No. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, nice try. Another cool little cutscene. Lots of them in there, isn't there, actually? Mm. They really went above and beyond with the uh, presentation in this game. Presentation is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> okay, you've got no excuse for not hitting on now. This bit is a bit weird, actually. I don't really understand how it's why there's travelators there. Travelators make you move faster, so maybe it'll make you jump further onto yeah, the next travelator. Yeah, so maybe I just sort of gamed, oh, gamed the system there a little bit. Yeah, you cheated. Cheated. Yeah, it's sort of a fairly unique game, this, I think, actually, isn't it? Mm. And Sunsoft, they did... They did to put, tend to put their own spin on a lot of these games. They make a lot of action games, but there's also sort of add other elements in. Am I right like he's got worse range than you. <laughs> I was going to say, am I right just to... Oh, he's, he's quick, though, that's the thing. He moves fast. But he only shoots downwards, so... Great animation, actually, here, isn't there? I don't know if you can see all that, but look at all these sort of uh, gremlins in the sides here. Sort of audience. That's something else that was great go. about um, Sunsoft games. They've got a load of animated elements. Oh in the shit, background. I've got to walk there without getting a. Yeah. You still got two hits there, haven't you? Did I? Yeah. Oh! oh. Too far to be jumping, isn't it? And it didn't even blow up either, did it? Oh. Where's the platform then? There it is. Right, okay, alright, oh, okay. <laughs> nice one. Oh, fuck, that was stupid. Take that. No, I'm going to avoid you like a plague. Nice one. Yeah. Oh, it's the boss. It's the final boss. What? I'm not hitting it. Is it a spider? No, it's a gremlin, but with spider legs. Um, it, it goes down the screen. Now walk with it. Walk with it? Yeah. So you, it walks left and right. you just got to stay between its I legs. I can't hit it. Nice one. It's not at the range. The weapon's terrible for this. You've got to get on the diagonal, haven't you? Okay, yeah, I see. And then when he stops, then you fire. Oh, go on, you got invention. Oh. 
Nice. Don't worry, that was easy in the end. <laughs> it's because we had so many lives. Oh, yeah. That's it now, isn't it? Yeah. And power ups as well. It's the ending light then. Executed them all. Just murdered them. <laughs> With happy homicide music. This is the ending of the movie, isn't it? Sort of, uh, they drench all of the gremlins with water and then they fire the electric gremlin at them. It just sort of explodes, fries all of them. I'd need the right music behind it, though. <laughs> okay, Rich, so what did you think of the game, then? Uh, I do really like this game, actually, but obviously, as anyone that watches our videos will know, we do like arcade-style games quite a bit, we don't really we? We really do. But uh, I feel like it's quite a unique game. I feel like the run-and-gun elements are done quite well themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's quite a fast and fluid game, isn't it? You've got the, the shops that sort of add a little bit more to that element, and then you've got the platforming stuff on top of that, which sort of makes it a bit more unique. Kind of tricky stuff, isn't it, a lot yeah. of this stuff? Tons and tons of things going on at once that you've got to keep track of. Maybe it's a bit on the short side. No, I'd say, no. I'd say that... With what, for this... its time? No, I don't think really? so for its time. I feel as though... Cause, I mean, there's password saves in this game as well, remember? Yeah. So once you get through these levels, you get through them. Personally, I'd say I'd rather... It was a little bit easier for, for a higher score. I think if it was a little bit easier and a bit longer, then the average Joe would find it a bit more accessible because I feel like a lot of people might have problems with this game. Where it comes to the presentation, I think it's as good as a, as a NES game can get, pretty much. Yeah, you know? top quality. I mean, the music is fantastic. Graphically, I, I'd say it looks reasonable. You've got quite, quite good NES graphics, plus you've got some very nice sort of background animations, like those gremlins we saw on that, you know, on that, on that boss fight. Sort of running around. Some of the bosses are quite reasonable as well, aren't they? That last boss was quite big, quite impressive. But the presentation, I mean... You've got an excellent intro, you've got a pretty good ending, and you've got constant like intermission scenes as well that sort of take you through the storyline, you know. So you can't really get much better than that in that respect. How do you feel about the game then? Well, as you said already said, great, great, great presentation across the board. You said graphics were okay. I thought the graphics were really, really nice. I mean, mm. they didn't reuse any levels. They yeah. didn't reuse any of the music. Each each level, each music, apart from the boss levels, had the same it had different yeah. music throughout yeah. out there. You are right, it? the variety of graphics, the tiles, there was a lot of variety in the a tiles. A lot of variety. The only thing I would say is the colours sort of look a bit, they're sort of garish at any Psychedelic. colours, aren't they? So mm. that in that area, I'm not as keen. I but... didn't mind that, though, because that kind of falls quite nicely into whole, the whole Gremlins theme. It was quite yeah. garish. Excellent gameplay, really, but it's arcade gameplay, so we're always going to give that yeah. high. So what are you going to give this then, Rich? Um, I really like the game, but like I said, I feel like maybe... It could be a bit longer for the, for the five. It would have needed to be a little bit longer for me, and maybe a little bit better balance for difficulty. I feel like this is nearly a five out of five game though, but because I really do, I'm real a fan of this game. I think it's unique. It's action packed and it's fun and rewarding to play for people who are fans of arcade games. But just because I feel like at that time you want to be a little bit longer, a little bit better balanced, that I'm going to give it a four. But um, it's right at the top of a four out of five for me, personally. So what do you reckon then? Well, I'm going to disagree with you. Yeah. I'm going to disagree with you because I really like the difficulty element. And I think there's you can practice it plenty because you've got password saves. You've got unlimited continues. And yeah. if you want to put the effort into it, you can do. So I'm going to give it a full five out of five because I really enjoyed the experience. I loved the gameplay. I loved the music. I loved the presentation. I thought everything was fantastic about it. And I didn't mind the difficulty. In fact, I enjoyed the difficulty because when you do get that difficulty and you can master it, you yeah. feel a billion dollars. You really do. So I'm going to give it a full five out of five. Okay, guys, that was Gremlins 2 for this week. Really enjoyed the game. Yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic game, isn't it? It I, really I is. do enjoy it. It's right up our alley, really, isn't it's, it? You know? It's literally the, <laughs> the best thing that we can possibly play. So if you agree with us, give us a comment. Tell us what you think. Give us a like. That always helps. And we'll see you next week with another game. Take care, guys. See ya.